Hello guys, welcome back. One of my viewer, Gerard, he requested if I could do a video on extracting single shot espresso. Now, single shot espresso, it's something that I wouldn't recommend because there is not enough time to do the proper extraction. So it's better to make a double espresso shot and you can discard half of it. It's still worth doing that because you get the full body, the full taste of espresso and there is enough time to extract extract everything out of the beans properly. So I always recommend double espresso shot. But there are many who prefer single espresso shot. Nothing wrong in making that. Uh, I used to make some time ago, but it's been a while since I made single espresso shot. Uh, so I can't wait to make one. So it's been a while, so let's do a single espresso shot and see whether I'm able to extract it properly. So let's go. I got some beans left. I noticed yesterday that I was running out of beans. So, so let's use the last bit of these beans. It's been, I roasted this a few weeks ago, but since it is stored in a vacuum container, uh, it should be still fresh, I'm hoping. Let's see, it's more than three weeks anyway. Now, let's take uh, nine and a half grams. Now, that's something that I keep in mind whenever I make a single cup espresso. Uh, that is, if you are taking 18 grams for your double espresso shot, you don't take exactly the half, that is 9 grams. If you are using 18 on double, you use 9 grams on the single shot. But I always add a little more, 0.5 to it, or even 1 gram to it. But uh, today uh, we will use 9.5 grams because this particular bean, when I make double espresso shot, I use 18 grams. So that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. Always take 0.5 grams more than the half of the double espresso shot. So let's use this. Now my grinder setting is at four. Uh, let's not change that for now. I'm hoping uh, that will be the, the correct uh, range for that particular bean. Uh, so let's see if not we will adjust a bit so I'm going to use this nine and a half grams of beans So let's break all the big clumps and make it very powdery so that we don't get any channeling. So today I'm going to use uh, the Breville Potter filter and the single espresso shot basket. It's been a while since I used this so let's use this today. Uh, make sure I level it properly so that one side doesn't have more than the other end. That looks good. So I'm going to use the distribution tool. And I'm going to use the other side, which is the tambour. Make sure it hit the the edge everywhere. Okay, perfect. Looks good. So let's extract a single espresso shot. So today I'm going to use the weighing scale. 
just to see how much volume I got it. And I got my shot glass ready. Now before I plug in, let me just purge. That's to ensure I avoid any condensation. And let's plug in. And I'm going to use my shot glass and tear it. Okay, all good. So I'm hoping this angle is better. So I'm going to use the single cup. The pressure looks okay, but the extraction is a bit quick. Now I got around 22, 23 grams out from nine and a half grams of beans, which is not bad. If you take one is to two ratio, nine and a half grams of beans should give 19 grams output volume. And I got 23, which is not bad. It is, it is in 2.25 range. Now, uh, as I said, this beans is a bit old so the flow was too quick anyway i'm going to taste this and see how the extraction is obviously it's not that fresh so so the crema is less but let's taste and see Well, it's a bit sour. I'm not getting the full flavors. So obviously you need a fresh beans for sure, but the extraction and the number that we got, uh, the output volume, everything seems to be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another single shot. And this time I'm going to dial in the grinder to be a bit more finer. And let's see what will be the result. So here it was at four I'm going to make it let's say two the puck looks okay a bit cracked here and there but that's okay so let me discard this and let's make another espresso quickly so I just clean up the potter filter and the baskets now let's take nine and a half again this is my last bit of beans wow that's exactly nine and a half grams now if this didn't work i don't have any other coffee to make it again so let's use this so i'm glad it's exactly nine and a half So the same single basket which I just cleaned. Let's distribute it. Yeah, looks good. 
and I'm going to use the other side to tamp. Okay, so let's pull a shot. And I got my other shot glass, which I'll use here. Let me tear it. And I'm going to press single cup. Okay, the pressure was around the same range. I don't see any difference. Even the flow was a bit quick compared to to the other shot. Now the extraction uh, from 23, I got it to 21.8. So that's almost one is to two, 2.1 range. Uh, that's the only difference I see. And importantly let's see if there is any taste difference okay it has decent crema but not too much compared to the fresh beans extraction let's taste and see okay now this is slightly better than the other one it has the full body and i can taste some flavors but I wouldn't say this is a great extraction compared to a few weeks ago when the same beans was fresh. Now I've, I was using this vacuum container, but the thing is I opened this container several times. So that could be the reason why the beans got a bit stale. That could be the reason. Anyway, uh, this is still drinkable and you got the idea how to extract the single cup espresso. This is the first shot and the crema almost died because I kept it there for long. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I would really appreciate that. That really helps me. So see you guys on the next video and bye for now. <laughs>